Hello, and welcome to the Toku Takeout, your podcast for LBR Rangers. Now, if we can quiet down, we can begin. Hi. We're doing a podcast called the Toku Takeout, and today is a very special day because Jason is not here, and so that is a reason to celebrate. He cannot kill me off. Today, we have with us a couple of people. We have Adam. Brian. Adam is gone. We have Alex. Brian. Yes. There is more than a couple of people here. There is exactly twice a couple of people. Indeed. Fine. Brian. Couple but, refers to two. But let us introduce. But go ahead and introduce us. Alex, do you want to host the call? Do you want to host the podcast? I mean, I was merely making a suggestion. Fine. There are four people today. Their names are me, and Rabot, and Dustin, and Toby. The Hi, ex- me. <laughs> Me is the best character of the show, and you will all learn to love him. Yes, indeed, I am the best character. Something just broke. Was it me? It was my heart. Did me break? <gasps> <laughs> no, not me. Speaking of broken heart, let's move on to geeky things. Adam, what geeky things have you done today, such as learning that Homestuck will not update for several months? <laughs> oh, hey, now's a good time to catch up. <laughs> Cutting right to the meat of the problem. Let me just cut to the bone and then kind of twist the knife. <laughs> <laughs> that way you can carve on underneath it. If I use a second knife, I might be able to get the first knife out. Only if you're careful. The solution to every problem is more knives. My favorite part about the Homestuck not updating is that none of our favorite characters will die in the next several months. You know it is only putting off the inevitable. Yeah, I know. Yeah. First John will die, and then Karkit will die. Hey, 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 hey. No spoilers. Hey, it's not exactly a spoiler. It's not exactly a spoiler that John dies at some point. He's died four times now. (laughs) <laughs> I know, but well, okay, well, some of us haven't caught up, so let, let, let I'm gonna see these deaths for myself. Thank you very much. How far are you in Hamstick? Uh, they just introduced the the. Oh God, I can't remember. It's. I don't think at least clear. probably at least a couple of at least an act or two behind. Hmm. All right. Uh, Adam, you playing any? Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Alex, are you playing any new games or something? Well, it's not a new game per se, but there is a Don't brand talk new. Don't about it then. <laughs> Jeez, Brian, <laughs> let him talk. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Oh. You are the worst host. I am. I am. Brian, may I, Brian, may I make a suggestion? <laughs> yes. Brian, here is my suggestion. Okay. Are you ready for my suggestion? Yes, I am okay, ready. Here is my suggestion. Fuck you, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> that is my suggestion, Brian. <laughs> I love this podcast so much. <laughs> Anyways, no, it's not. I right. don't think. I don't think Brian floats that way, man. Yes, Brian is not a homosexual. Of course not. Right, bye. Nah. <laughs> All right. So, um. Adam? Anyways, whoa, hang on. I'm sorry. I keep calling you. I didn't even get to finish. God damn it. Yeah. What game are you playing? Uh. Is it Mario? Shut, shut up. The reason I bring it up is uh because there's a brand new DLC coming out for it later in April. Called Dark Arisen. And Hang the name on. of the game. This what? month is April. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. For that breaking update. <laughs> yeah, so the name of the game is Dragon's Dogma. There we go. Done. Done. There we go. My turn. 
Now we're go. Next, go. Next is me. I did a couple of geeky things, but since we're recording multiple episodes, I will only share with you a few of them. Suck it. Uh, today, I went to a McDonald's and ate a Happy Meal. <laughs> the reason I did this is because they're doing a promotion for Skylanders Giants, where if you eat a McDonald's kids meal, or I guess I could have just ordered the toy separately, uh, you get a coupon for $10 off the purchase of a starter pack. And so I did that. I bought myself a McDonald's kids meal, and I ate it. It was. Good job. They come with apple slices now. The apple slices are very salty. Not exactly sure why that is. How do you? How the fuck do you make apple slices salty? I why believe... do you make apple slices salty? I believe it it's on because the type of that, uh... it's it depends on the type of apple. Some work. Some taste pretty damn good, but salt. I actually have a theory behind this, and that theory pertains to the fact that they were sealed in a plastic bag. I believe that putting salt on the apple makes it rot much, much slower. And it yeah, it's, it, it might be preserved. But yeah, they they taste like crap. You guys, mm, the um, taste of preservative. Mmm, it tastes yeah. like embalming fluid. Uh, yeah, the, I, I, the, I can, the last time I had anything from McDonald's was last March. Ooh. And that was a and that was a shamrock shake, which I missed this year. Oh. It's I don't think I've ever had, had a shamrock shake myself, actually. They taste like vanilla shakes. So then what's the mint. point? Because they're green. And they get mint in them, and that mint makes the difference. I don't think okay. they have we'll mint in them. go somewhere else. Yeah, you should. McDonald's is not the best. I can go yeah, somewhere else I'm and probably... get a mint shake any day of the year. I prefer Carl's Jr., but they often do not have as good kids' meal toys. I guess I go to Steak and Shake. Maybe they'll have a mint one. Other geeky things I did include that I got my Tamashi stages a couple of days ago, and I started uh, posing some of my toys on shelves, like on little stands. I have movie Starscream kind of hovering, not really menacingly, but like a small, frightened infant which is more fitting to his character. And uh, yesterday I got a check for $434 for a tax refund, and I've already spent $100 of it. Good job. I'm good at saving money. You're good at capitalism. Yeah. Next up... I guess that means I'm next. Spoilers, yeah. I... I've been watching Gokaiger. Gokaiger. That's... Go Kyger. And that show is awesome. I like the part I mean, of straight the up. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm about halfway through, which means I've watched... I've also watched two of the movies. Well, one was just a really long episode. I still haven't but seen... the other one was a... You haven't seen... Which one have Which of the movie haven't you seen? The... Any of them? The Ghost Ship one. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Gokaiger is the 35th Super Sentai series where they have the ability to become any of the previous 34 Super Sentai series. And also our pirates. Yes, and also our pirates. Yep, because that's how that works. And their, oh, yeah, that's movie, how that works. their first movie was a crossover with Space Sheriff Gavin, if I recall correctly. No, 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 wrong. That's their last, that's their third movie. Oh. First movie. Sorry. The first movie was a crossover with, yeah, 199 different Super Sentai heroes. Yes, the 199 Sentai. Yes. I I got chills. I've seen it. I got freaking, I got freaking chills, man. That was awesome. It was pretty cool. I like that a lot of the plot revolved around a suicidal old man trying to sell off an old Super Sentai toy. And them telling him not to sell his toy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, the the whole it was a the whole series that so far has been pretty awesome. Yeah, I think I'm, you're gonna like the ending. I'm I'm, I'm 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 I just watched episode 28, which was the 
Jetman tribute. Nice, that's a really good one. As oh yeah, that was a uh, that was pretty neat. I don't want to spoil too much, but don't get used to Go Kai Green. Okay, well moving uh, on. That kind of spoiled a whole bunch there. Okay. Um. Oh. Uh. Well, but let's move on. I. This is Toby. Oh. oh. Toby is new to the podcast. He's going to be in a couple of episodes, and then probably not very many after that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. It, it all depends. We'll see. we'll see. If we impress him, maybe he'll grace us with his presence. I don't know. I wouldn't mind coming back after this. This has been fun so far. Hooray! It's been Good very- job. We haven't, even gotten to the- we haven't even gotten to the best part yet. The best part is when we kill off a cast member. It tends to happen. First to join, first to leave. Wait, that's not how that goes. No. Crap, I'm gonna die. Two men enter, one yeah. man leaves. And then one man leaves slightly later, and they call him the victor. Okay. Toby, go. One man leaves in a body uh, bag. Why don't you introduce yourself? Alright, oh, uh, I'm... Bag. What do you do? Who are you? Who is Toby? Well, he is Toby Mobius. Mm. Uh, I'm a podcaster, actor out of uh, Dallas, Georgia. Uh, I'm in a couple of different things you may or may not have heard of, probably not. Um, I do a show called The Misty Cast, which is all about Mystery Science Theater 3000. What is a Mystery Science Theater, and why are there 3,000 of them? A Mystery Science Theater is a theater that shows mystery and science, there are 3,000 of them throughout the continental United States. Oh, okay. They just opened the 3,000 at first. Uh, did they show, like, uh, like those dinner mysteries where, like, somebody dies during the middle of dinner and then you have to figure out who the murderer is and it's normal? Yeah, except they're sci-fi and the answer is always the robots. Oh. Well, spoilers. Except for the one time where it wasn't the robots. Oh. And it really blew everyone's mind. Oh. It was kind of like the one episode of House where it was actually Lupus. Oh. <laughs> or the one that episode a, of, episode. or the one episode of the Jetsons where they were in the past. It'd be like the one. It'd be like the one episode of a pup named Scooby Doo where it actually was Red Herring. Oh man, that was a crazy episode. Yeah. Let me tell you, out of all of the episodes of a pup named Scooby Doo, I like that one by far the most. I but hate that one the I... least. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else of interest you'd like to say about yourself? I mean, it is a pup named Scooby-Doo. Uh, I play Calendar Man in the show Gotham High, uh, the, the fan audio drama Gotham High, with a lot of other people from things you may have heard of that I can't remember all the names of because it has a pretty big cast. Now, if I recall correctly, Calendar Man... Has the ability to turn into a calendar, yes. Okay. I didn't know where I was going with that, so I'm very glad you said something. I was just going to let that hang there for a while. That is what he does. And he really freaks out Batman because he keeps changing the dates. <laughs> it's like July, but he thinks it's Groundhog Day. It really freaks him out. Bruce Wayne wakes up, and he's all excited because it's his birthday, and his parents are going to give him a nice gift, and then BAM! It's Christmas. Yeah. Well, he'd get oh. a gift anyway, so... Are his parents dead by Christmas? <laughs> no, no, no. He changes the calendar so it was before they die. Calendar Man actually has the ability to prevent Batman from ever existing because he could just go back in time and prevent Bruce Wayne's parents from dying, and so Bruce Wayne would have no reason to become Batman. But Calendar Man knows that if he does this, there will create like a temporal paradox, and that's the only reason he doesn't do it. Also, Venus de Milo, the fifth Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, is his girlfriend. What? Because you always tie it back oh, to Venus to Milo. Oh, hey, look who showed up. Sorry. Oh, Lisa. I was upstairs. Uh, L actually goes before T, so retroactively Lisa is going to go before Toby. Okay. Oh, we're doing this now? Okay, hi. <laughs> Hello, and welcome. To the tide pool. Oh. <laughs> no, I made that's myself dead. sad. So, Lisa, uh, hmm. what do you do geeky this week? Um... 
I'm wearing a new pony shirt I got for my birthday. I've been playing a game that Justin got me for my birthday, which is tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, no, no, that is a copyrighted song. Do not sing it. Actually, okay. it is copyrighted. It really it is. is. Say it's your sorry. birthday. Oh, okay. oh, wait, shit. No, 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 no. Okay, stop, 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 stop. I have to sit for that very whole little. song. Huh. No, the it, all joking aside, it actually really is copyrighted. <laughs> For those of you who didn't right, we'll, know, we'll beep it out. We'll beep it out, or we'll, we'll like do something. That Every we'll instance of the word we'll birthday know. is going to have a censor, so people will think that you're saying a naughty, naughty word. <laughs> like I'm but, fine with this. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually kind of fine with this too, actually. No, but um, hey. I've been feeling a little sick today, though. Um, main reason being, yeah, just um, I don't know if this counts as geeky, but trying to play um, mediator between two very angry, well, one very angry brownie and one who's kind of regretful of things that were said. I I don't think I've ever met a brownie who wasn't regretful in some manner. Aww. Uh, my my seven year old brother is a brownie now. It's it's pretty interesting. That's hilarious. No, it's cool. My, be my best friend's a brony, so it's okay. I'm one Who's too. Your so... best friend's a brony. She reads bro she reads brony fanfiction. Yes, I do read brony fanfic. I actually uh, voice act. So this brony fanfiction is it fanfiction about bronies? No, not yet. <laughs> we haven't read one like that yet. I would love to write one. <laughs> There's already been a few. Like I think one is the one, one of the first ones that come to mind. Uh, I'm not a brony. Get me out of Equestria. He sat in his chair, gently stroking Pinkie Pie's mane. Mmm. Oh. In his mind, he could only think to compare Pinkie Pie's glorious mane to his own glorious mane. Of course, his mane came out of mostly his neck and chin. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey. oh my God. Okay, real quick, because I know... I, I'm like, wait, wait, real quick, just because I know there are some Ronnies that will do this. He's not attacking the fandom. Yes, I Shut am. Up. Yes, I am. I am is, directly attacking the fandom. I'm you're part of this fandom, so you're attacking yourself. I don't too. want their wrath. It's, our, it's a mutually planned destruction. I didn't agree mutually to this. Mutually assured destruction. So hey, it's not you're Doctor Who right, Brian. It's a Doctor... Wait, who are we talking about? <laughs> God damn it. Okay, so... Okay, what, what are, are we, we watching? Uh, today we are watching Power Rangers Arpim. I love Arpim. Do I need to download something? something? Yes, we yes, need, you I really need to download should have. <laughs> should have? I didn't know. It's also on Netflix stream. He doesn't oh, have Netflix. Netflix. Oh. For some reason. Well, we're going to take a quick break while we force we out... Ask, we, I need we to ask out what we're watching. Well, also, I didn't talk about my geeky thing, but that's okay, I guess. No, you don't have a geeky thing. Okay. You can have one. Well, well if you say so, I guess it's true. Well, okay, what was your geeky thing? Uh, I was going to say my friend has been marathon... She marathoned all of Doctor Who in a week. That's... Like, that's... all of the new series. How... Okay. How... Okay, I was about to well, say all not... of Doctor Who, I'm like... And then she went back and watched as many classic episodes as she could find. Some and she's like, I want more. Alright. So. Okay, we're, we're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we'll have something watched. Real quick, uh, before we go to break, I just want to say, um, all joking aside, because I know we could get pretty raunchy on here with our jokes and whatnot, all joking aside, I would really like to ask all of you to keep the victims of the Boston bombing in your thoughts oh this got really serious all of a sudden i was just wanting to say that okay it was yeah. a bit too serious brian say a dick joke uh i have a very small penis good enough <laughs> that's the only oh time your small God. penis will ever be good enough for anything yes! oh, finally Bird. nice <laughs>
And we're back. We just watched Supider Man, which is not Rip'em. Uh, I, I do want to mention a few things about Supider Man, uh, the Japanese version of Spider Man. Basically, in the late 70s, what happened was uh, Marvel wanted to use some of the Japanese toys for something. And in exchange, they said that Japan could have like licensing rights of one of their products. Japan chose Spider-Man and made this. Uh, basically, they wanted it to appeal to kids, like, um, like first and foremost, children. So they decided to do anything and everything in their power to make it good for kids, including giving them a giant robot. Especially giving them a giant robot. And a car. Yeah, and a race car. And, and making him a motorcycle rider. And, and um, making Jay go to Jameson a woman. Yeah, that, oh, yeah. Yeah. That probably doesn't appeal to kids so much as their older siblings, but yeah. I think we'll, I think we'll be fine. Anyway, we'll it's because J. Jonah Jameson would scare children. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really think he would. We'll go around the room and we'll each talk about our favorite parts. I'm only saying this for Toby's benefit because he's never been on one of these episodes before. Nope. We will start alphabetically with Alex. Since Adam is not here. He's not? What about me? Pretty sure he's not. Is Alex? You're last. No, I meant that person, me, he was talking about earlier. Me is me, you dummy. Oh, I'm getting some late breaking news. Oh, Alex died. Uh, moment of silence. <laughs> and it's over. Uh, excuse me. Alex didn't die. He's going to go eat dinner because apparently having dinner is more important than the podcast. Hang on. We're professionals. <laughs> there. He could bring his food to the computer. There's no excuse. I was going to like because I was upstairs making fudge, but that stuff takes a while. Fried chicken grease makes great lubricant. By making fudge, do you mean you were taking a shit? No, actually, I was literally making some fudge. <laughs> I got a bu- I had um I had a bunch of leftover uh, Easter chocolates. My so. favorite part about Spider Man was when they injected his skin with ink. <laughs> Dustin, go. Um, oh, my turn. Uh, I like the I, uh, the show itself is fine, but I can It's kind of interesting how this show actually affected uh, Super Sentai, because a lot of the a lot of the basic things that we see that we know Super Sentai for started like a here team of, of five to six members. No, no, the things that started here were. The giant monsters that grow, and the, the giant bright, robot. Bright, colorful helmets and spandex. Well, spandex. Uh, uh, well, spandex, yeah. Being commanded by a giant blue head. Rangers. <laughs> I don't know what Observe a super... Observe the viewing globe. Alpha, Reed has escaped. Teleport to me a motorcycle rider who likes spiders. No, not teenagers. That is correct, Alpha. <laughs> aye, 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 but I don't like teenagers. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Alpha. <laughs> fuck you. I like how Zordon... Change my water, Robo bitch. Like, th- th- change your own water. This isn't really relevant. I don't have hands. Guys, this, this isn't really relevant to Spider-Man, <laughs> but I just like Sorry. the idea... I was- I like the idea that Zordon and, to a lesser extent, Gosei, they just kind of sit in their command base, unable to move, and the only reason they have the robot there is for company. Like, there's got to be a time when the Rangers haven't been there in a long time, and Zordon is just going to Alpha, and he's like, Alpha, sometimes I wonder about my life choices. How could this happen to me? 
I've made my mistakes. Got nowhere to run, and life goes on as I'm fading away. At least you have me. Zoran just sighs. If I had hands, I would face I would face palm, but I sadly do not. Alpha, face palm for me. Oh, Alpha, get my crying ice cream. <laughs> okay, okay. Teleport it into my mouth. <laughs> Telefo- How am I gonna do that? And it's Christmas time already. Oh lord. Can I just say I really love playing Zordon? That's like my favorite thing to do. Oh, that was fun. Okay. Oh, oh, I, oh, we've gone completely off track though. <laughs> so, but as I said, as I was saying, um, it's also though uh, Toei lost the uh, rights to do a no- Marvel thing because of this. The next Super Sentai to come out was supposed to be a Captain America based one, but instead of Captain America, you'd have Captain Japan. They kind of <laughs> kept that idea, and we got Battle <laughs> Theater J, which Captain is also Tom. notable for. Wait, wait, here's the best Captain part. Captain it... Japan! <laughs> but here's oh the best part. The, the, one of the main. Besides the whole being for different countries things. They incorporated dance moves into their, their attacks. <laughs> All right, I have to see this. Oh, I don't think I don't know if there are any subs of it or anything, but it, it's I'm, still I'm sure you can find some. Some. Send me a clip. I will send that to Chris Evans' mom because she's on Twitter. I will send that and go. Okay, I know he's working. I know your son's working on Captain America too. You have to get him to do this. E John, E John, J John. E John, E John, C J John, and they're dancing. I think one of them is Russia. You're Russia. Uh, Mom, Captain. Oh uh, yeah, Battle Cossack. <laughs> that just sounds wrong. And Miss America. She's Battle Pink. And she has a wig on her helmet. Yes, she does. It's kind of disturbing. She's my favorite. But we're not ta- but we're not talking about that. I just mentioned Battle Fever J. I was. Let's move. Okay, let's move on to the next person, and they can say what they liked about Spider-Man. I'm not really sure how to pronounce this person's name. Um, is it is it Lisa? Lisa. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That's cool. Um. Telling me about Lisa. Oh God, my boyfriend. Anyway, um, I have to admit, for. A little while there, I'm like watching this going. Okay, these are amazing graphics because you can see the spy, you can see the spider web in the sky. It's kind of got this little sheen to it, and then the robot and everything. I'm like, wow, this, it, these are some amazing graphics for the '70s. And then here comes um, the bad chick with one of the skimpiest outfits I've ever seen in a child in a children's show. And there is oh, this, oh, and you then the little seen monster. And she has this little monster. She has this little monster. She sets it down and it grows. And I'm thinking, what happened to the great special effects? This was awful. Toward the end, there was a moment of when he blew, when he finally got blown up. There was a period of literally about five seconds where the special effect quality went from good to bad to amazing to what the hell did I just watch to, wow, that was pretty awful. Welcome to 1970s era Togusatsu. You can literally see where they ran out of effects budget. It's especially great in the very first episode of the very first Kamen Rider because, like, like Ichigo gets into the middle of a fight scene and he's surrounded by this, like, big circle of enemies. And because they ran out of budget, the circle of enemies kind of scoots to, like, the right clock, uh, counterclockwise. And then they scoot clockwise and then counterclockwise again, like a... Uh, a couple of times. It's it's really quite fascinating. Mm. <laughs> Other than uh, that, who's la- so oh Toby. Oh, Toby oh, yeah, is oh, always was, last. That was, pretty, well, that was a pretty kicking car, I must say. Toby's I just kept thinking about Speed Racer. Heart. So do I go now, or are people going to keep talking? Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Well, I'd actually have to say uh, my favorite part was honestly I really like the the character interactions like from an acting standpoint I thought everyone did pretty well uh, especially the lead whose name I don't remember Takuya right yeah That's cool. I thought I, I thought he did pretty well and I liked the the stunt work and especially spider-man's very 
you know, spider-like movements. Oh, yeah. Uh, when climbing and, and doing that. And plus, I kind of nailed the look of the 60s Spider-Man cartoon in that they reused a lot of footage, and there was a lot of times where they would show something like three times in rapid succession just to give the illusion that more was happening than there really was. So, plus the music was great. I really liked the music. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the music was awesome. Yes. Um, okay, so do we have anything else to talk about the episode, or should we come to a close? Well, I guess I guess we'll, we can get uh, Alex's thoughts later, I suppose. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make up Alex's thoughts. Um, Alex really likes the colors. Oh, the pretty colors. I, I can't do impressions. Anyway, uh, I really like the colors. No. No, he doesn't, he doesn't sound like that. It's more dry. I know, it just, I know, it just kind of pisses him off when I do that. <laughs> Okay, so when we close off an episode, what we normally do is we go around the room and we each say one simple word. The first word that pops in your mind. We'll start with Alex. And then, then we'll go to me, and my word will be lavender. And then we'll go to Dustin. Leo, pardon! And then we'll go to Lisa. Chef. And then we'll go to Toby. Toaster. And that's the episode. Thank you for joining us for another riveting episode of the Toku Takeout. We will be back in roughly one week to talk about something else. Goodbye. Who knows? And I love That'd you. That'd be interesting. You have just listened to Toku Takeout, the podcast for LBR Rangers. If you would like to take some home with you, Please subscribe or follow us at lbrangers.tumblr.com. Don't forget to leave a comment or submit your own content. Goodbye.